Hello, 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 everyone. This is Brother Oscar York once again with another edition of Chatting from the Word. We are so delighted to be with you today. Uh, this is uh, March the 13th, 2020. This is Friday. Friday is when most people just... Uh, most people may say it's the last day of a week, but this is the last day of the work week for some, and some are getting paid. But we know that they are going home and happy with a little jingle in their pocket. <laughs> Brother Oscar uh, can say that. Uh, we are so delighted to be with you once again. The Lord has uh, blessed us with another wonderful a wonderful day. A day that you and I had nothing to do with it. But the Lord created this day because He loved us so much, giving us another chance to be among the living. And I believe we can say, as the psalmist says in Psalm 118, verse 24, for He said, For this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be uh, glad in it. I don't know about you, my friends, but I'm going to be glad in it. And I'm going to rejoice in the Lord, thanking Him for giving all of us that's on this side of heaven another chance, a second chance to uh, make it right with Him, another chance to walk closer and closer with Him. And we hope that you are taking advantage of each second, each minute, each hour that the Lord gives you to get it right with Him and make sure you have it right with Him. And, and He had given us a second chance. Praise the Lord. That is a blessing, my friends, within the set. And we all can say what the psalm says again in Psalms 103, verse 1 and 2. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. All right. We here in the... Excuse <coughs> me. We here in Lightning Ohio. We're having some beautiful, beautiful weather today. Praise, praise the Lord. It is 57 degrees and sunny and 0% chance of rain. Yes, sir. We're having some beautiful, beautiful weather. But you know what Brother Oscar said, regardless of what's going on on the outside, as long as we have a sun guy here and inside here chatting from the word, we have sunny day every day. Because we have the Son of God. Amen, amen, and amen. So we hope y'all had a good morning. Had a beautiful breakfast. And we hope that y'all had a good afternoon. Had a wonderful lunch. And you're ready to receive some spiritual nutrition from the Word of God. Again, we are so delighted to be with you on today. We have a beautiful program for you. We really do. Our first selection will be Chris Turner. It's cool inside. And followed behind that will be Tiffany the Malone. Why me? And it's only before prayer time will be straight company. Jesus is coming. And the selection before the message will be the a cappella com company when they ring those golden bells. In our lesson, we will be coming from Romans 
the sixth chapter, uh, verses 12 through 23. And we are going to be studying from the subject, Under Grace. Under Grace. So when we get to that portion of the program, take your Bibles out so that you can be ready to study along with your brother here, uh, Brother Oscar York. All right, so just get in the back. Now, listeners, go have a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, or whatever, and just relax. Go sit in your recliner, just recline on the house. Or stretch out on the couch or on the floor, you're at home anyway. And keep on listening to Brother Oscar York here on Chatting from the Word. Now, if you're driving, if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. But keep on listening to Brother Oscar York here on Chatting from the Word. Now, if you're in the gym trying to get all buffed up, as young people may say, or well, lose weight, or stay in shape, put your earbuds on while you're exercising and continue on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after. Uh, these messages. All right, all right, all right. We're back. We're back. I'm glad to be back. And we hope that you all feel the same. And as promised, our first selection will be Chris Turner. It's cool. It's cool inside. Chris Turner. It's cool inside, and we love that song, that song here, and here we go. Inside, so cool, inside, don't you want to go, where it's cool, inside, do So much 
Wow. Chris Turner. Chris Turner. Miss Coo. Miss Coo inside. And, and the place he's talking about where is Coo inside? He is talking about heaven, uh, my friends. And if you want to go to heaven, you must be in the right place down here. And that's in the body of Christ if you expect to go to heaven. And those people may say, Brother Oscar, you're narrow-minded. But don't the world say narrow is the way. And we must follow but narrow way. All right, all right, all right. Let me remind my listeners that they are listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, your brother, Oscar Jones, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are so, so blessed to do it. We are so blessed to do it. And we hope that you have enjoyed the program up to this point here. Now, our next selection will be Tiffy Lee Malone. And we love this song here. On chatting for a moment. Tiffany Malone and she sings why 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 me and here we go Tiffany Malone why why me <laughs>
so that we may be a blessing to others. But some, some hold it so tight in their hands and want to just keep their blessings all to themselves. But don't you know the Lord bless us so that we may bless others? All right, all right, all right. We will be back after these messages. All right, all right, we're back, we're back, and we're glad to be back. And we hope that we're putting a snap in your Christian walk today. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Our next selection will be Straight Company, Jesus is Coming. And our Lord is definitely, my friends, coming back. And here we go with straight company. Jesus is coming. What you may say, then God would call you Jesus is coming. 
The hour of power, we may not know, but we know that he's coming. And if he would come tonight, or at this moment, will you be ready? Amen. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you uh, want Brother Oscar to pray here, uh, for here, or chatting from the Word, just email it to me. My email address is on case, Oscar York, 3443 at uh, gmail.com. And if you happen to be listening to us live, and I do hope that you all start listening to us live, you can always uh, go to the chat room and put your prayer request there. Don't see anyone, and that's fine. And you can always put your request there. We uh, want to pray for our nation at this time, going through the uh, the uh, corona. <laughs> I never can say the words when I'm on the air. Coronavirus, and many are worrying about uh, getting it, and so uh, the uh, administration is closing down the schools and, and many other things that are being closed. I'm not sure if this Sunday many of the uh, body of Christ will be closed, if they are going to have worship or not. But if so, if you catch yourself not going to worship on Sunday, you can always tune in and listen to us here on Chatting from the Word. I always share the program with you uh, Mondays through Sundays, every day I share the show with you, so you can always uh, worship the Lord in, the, in that term also, and uh, we wanted to pray for uh, uh, the tornado that came down uh, Nashville, Tennessee, maybe three weeks ago now, we want to pray that they uh, get as much normalcy as uh, they can. Uh, again, uh, we want to pray for our listeners, and we want to uh, pray for uh, this program here. Um, and, and please, let's pray for our administration uh, uh, politically, and pray for 
those that have contracted the coronary virus and we hope that things go well for them and, and those that have lost loved ones to that uh, disease uh, we hope and pray that they may find comfort in the arms of the Lord we're going to uh, before we go approach the throne of grace we want to read a scripture uh, we want to read Philippians 4 beginning with verse 5 here Paul says let your moderation be known unto all men the Lord is at hand be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any praise, good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned, received, and heard, and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Pray with me, please. Our Father, our God, our Lord, Father, we come to you in the humblest way we know how with our hearts and minds lifted up to you, Father. First of all, in thanksgiving, thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you, Father, for the many blessings you brought uh, for us this day so far. Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who bled and died on Calvary's mountain, that we, through his unselfish act, uh, may have a salvation. Oh, Father, we come praying for our nation at this time with the uh, coronary virus that that's going on here. Uh, we pray, Father, that uh, you be with the administration so that they may uh, work out a sensible idea to help us to overcome this disease that they may find a antidote to cure this disease and those that have contracted the disease father we pray uh, that you heal their bodies and be thy will and father we want to pray for the families that lost loved ones due to this disease we pray father uh, that you will uh, put your protecting arms around them and let them know that they are very much loved. Father, we pray for uh, the leadership of this nation we live in. We pray, Father, that they may do what's right and be where it is uh, uh, citizens and, and, make, and make the right decisions so that we may live in peace and harmony. Father, we want to pray for those in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, where the tornado touched down at several weeks ago. We pray, Father, uh, for that city that they may get back as much normalcy as they can and allow you to be seen uh, through them. So, Father, we come pray for all of our listeners that's under the sound of my voice. We pray, Father, that you be with them all. Help them to uh, overcome many problems that uh, they may be facing. Help them to overcome uh, the many uh, storms that, uh, face, that they are faced with. Father, allow them to know 
that Father that you are on the throne, that Christ, your Son, will be. As long as they stay in Christ and keep their hand in your hand, everything will be all right. Father, we come praying for our program here at Chatty from the Word. Help us to keep it on the air. Help us to keep uh, chatting about the Word from the Word. Help us to keep putting a snap in the Christian walk. And Father, we pray for the lesson that we're going to begin today. Under grace taken from Romans 6, 12 to 23. Father, we pray that you be with us in this study. And that we may say something that call, may call someone to think about their undone condition and be saved. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for praying along with us today. And we hope that we prayed for something that was on the, your mind. And again, you can always Email me your prayer request. Email address is your case. Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. And if you happen to listen to us live, uh, you can uh, go to the chat room and put your prayer request there. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages. <laughs> Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're glad to be back, and uh, we hope that you uh, feel the same. At this point uh, in the program, you know, we just talk with you to uh, let you know that those of you that are listening to the program, we are so blessed uh, that you are listening to the program. But at the same time, we want you to share the program with your loved ones, with your friends, uh, friends that you have on Facebook or on LinkedIn or other of the uh, uh, web pages that, that you know. Share this program. Let your friends know about Brother Oscar here on Chatting from the Word. Let your loved ones know about this program. You can also use this program as a tool to win uh, your lost. Uh, uh, your lost uh, uh, kin, kin people to the Lord, all your lost friends uh, that you want them to be saved because, you know, life is too short for us not to put Christ first in our lives. And we need to start doing that is to put Christ first in our lives if we haven't done that because, you know what? When it's all when it's all said and done, when this all the earth is all over with, the only thing that's gonna be left is God. So the question is, the question is that we all need that to have more and more of God in us. Are we going to do that? And that's the big question. And here we are chatting from the word. We try to do that. We try to uh, uh, keep our Hearts and mind in Jesus Christ. We try to play this beautiful music, a cappella music, the most uh, beautiful music on this side of heaven to put a snap in your Christian walk. And we, we, we try to do that. And we hope that you listen to the program. Listen to the program. Don't just listen for five minutes. I just give me a thumbs up and you haven't listened to it. Listen to the program. Love the program. Let's, uh, uh, let's uh, spend some time together here with the program here on Chatting from the Word. And when you listen to the program, like us. And if you like us, follow us here on Chatting from the Word. We'd be delighted that you do. And if you have any ideas for the program, let us know. Let us know. And if you want to support the program, everything costs money. And if you want to support this uh, program, uh, I'm at, I, I am on PayPal. I do have an account on PayPal, and I believe it's under my email address again, which is lowercase, Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. And now, you know, we've been started, we want to start running some business ads advertisement. 
If you have a business that you want us to feature here on Chatting from the Word, or if you want to feature, if you want us to feature your church and the events that you, that might be going on where you worship at, uh, you can run an ad here on Chatting from the Word. And we got the charge for this service because everything costs, my friends, and we do have bills to pay here at Chatting from the Word. Now, a 10-second spot will be $15, a 15-second slot will be $20, and a 20-second slot will be $30. And we hope that you all do that if you want us to run your business and feature your business here on Chatting from the Word. We hope that you get in contact with me and let me know. Or if you want your church to be uh, featured here on Chatting from the Word, just send me word through my email and let Brother Oscar know. All right? Uh, if you want to ever talk with your brother here, Brother Oscar, you're welcome to do that. You can. Uh, email me, like I said, we already said the email address, or we do have a page on Facebook, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar York, uh, dash Oscar York Publishing dot com, and you can go to that page on Facebook, or you can uh, message me, many of you have, and I do appreciate that uh, very uh, very uh, much. Or you can con get in contact with me through my web page. I do have a web page, which is again OscarPublishing.com. But while you're on my web page, I do have a bookstore. I have authored two books. My first book, which is A Peace Replacement Storms, God is in Control, which sells for 2150 and Bridges of Friendships. Which also sell for twenty one fifty, and if you want to purchase both books, both books are forty three dollars. Now you don't have you don't have to purchase both books. If you want to purchase both books, you're welcome to do that. But you can purchase either one, and that's twenty one uh, fifty. So visit OscarPublishing dot com and buy you a book and read. Now, you know my motto, when you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. Power. Yes, it does. It comes power. Yes, sir. So, go visit OscarPublishing.com and buy you a book and read. Now. The internet networks that we come on are Car Chaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Castbox, Podcast Addicts, Verica, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, go to your Google Play or App Store and download the Verica Podcast app and once you have it download look for us chatting from the word hosted by oscar and when you find us put us in your favorite so when two o'clock come monday through fridays you can tune us in and on saturdays at seven now the music that we play here on chatting from the word we do not own the copyrights to none of them but what we want to suggest that you do it's a 45 artists that we play here on Chatting from the Word. The key word is support, support, support. Go buy their CD and go see them in concert. And let them know that you heard their music here on Chatting from the Word. All right, all right, all right. We hope that you've been enjoying the program so far to this point and that we have Put a snap in your Christian walk today. Our next selection will be the a cappella company when they ring those golden bells. And here we go, the a cappella company 
when they read those golden demils. There's a land beyond the river that they call the sweet forever. And we only reach that shore by faith. from verse 12. Uh, here in this lesson, we want to entitle it Under Grace. Under Grace. I believe that that term uh, Under Grace, or Grace itself, uh, many are very confused uh, when it comes to grace. But what I want to do today, I just want to get your mind prepared uh, for this study. And we just want to read the scriptures to, to really see uh, where Apostle Paul is coming from, uh, from, the, from this lesson that he is sharing uh, with the Roman Christians and with us today. And in verse 12, Apostle Paul said, Let not sin 
and therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lustness thereof. Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead. And your members are instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin? Because we're not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom you yield yourself servants to obey, his servant ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you, being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. I speak unto you the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members servants of righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things where ye are now a sin? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. That's going to be a good lesson. So join us Monday as we dig deeper into this lesson under grace, taken from Romans 6, 12 through 23. We hope that you enjoyed the program so far, and we have been uplifting to you today. And of course, this is Friday, and tomorrow is Saturday, and if it be the Lord's will, we be coming on tomorrow night at 7, playing all your gospel hits to, to try to get you in the mood for worshiping God. So join us tomorrow night so that we can worship together and have a hallelujah time worshiping the Lord. All right, will you pray with me, please? Oh, Father, we start to come and thou be thy name. Father, we uh, thank you for this day which we uh, had today, spending it with each other, with all of our listeners. Father, we pray that you be with our listeners, help them to have a wonderful, wonderful day, a wonderful evening, and a wonderful, wonderful night. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today from chatting from the Word. So, bye-bye. We'll see you all tomorrow evening. Don't forget, Brother Oscar, now. Bye-bye.